on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Here's Whiteside, and they convert it last on attempt number three. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting in the paint and keep scoring points. Keep it going. Not a lot you can do as a defense when they keep hitting the ball in the paint like this. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Bogic kicks to Bosch. Rebound San Antonio. Aldrich has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Leonard with the steal. And the Spurs pushing it up now. Looking to end his cold spell. And Parker puts it in. Parker's got 19 points. Miami leading by 16. Knocked away. Wade against Green. Now here's Wade. Tight defense on him. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. Spurs trail by 16. And there's the eight-second call as they can't get it across half court in time. And all the turnovers, guys, are hurting his team. I mean, he's continuing to just give the ball away. And the foul call on Kawhi Leonard. And that'll be his third foul so far. Oh man, that's it's close, but you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. The dish to Dang, out to the right wing. He kicks it to Wade, and count the basket. He is fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And this collapse we've seen by their interior defense, it's really the reason why they've struggled and are in such a hole. And for Wade, we often talk about his physical state, but what about the mental toughness? Here's a guy who's been playing in some kind of pain every game for the past few years, but he just keeps churning the butter, not wanting to let his team down. San Antonio calls timeout. Reggie brought the top of the Wade. He's had a a chance to make several tough mental adjustments throughout his career. Well, he's always been a guy willing to alter his game for the good of the team. That's why he's got those championship rings, Kevin. You've got to be flexible, not just talent. Yeah, when Shaq comes in and joins him, then he had to change away when LeBron came in to play. Great uh, credit a to him. Yeah. Great credit to him. Very admirable. San Antonio calls timeout. D. Wade really playing well in this one. They don't seem to have any answers for him. They need to review their game plan and look for a way to cool him off. So San Antonio goes with a fresh five on the floor. Spurs trail by 19. Here's Marjanovic. Back to Miller. Mills in the corner. San Antonio again missing. The Heat have gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Miami leading by 19 points. Dragic with a wide open look. Offline with his three. San Antonio's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Andre Miller, one of the best dime droppers around. So it's Miami now. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Here's Dragic. And the shot no good, a bit short. Spurs trail by 17. Anderson dishes to Miller. Stops, pops. Here's Marjanovic. Nice D from Dang. Oh, excellent interior D to force the miss. 
His defensive ability is a big factor. I mean, there's no denying that. You know what? That's what you like to see. A perfect pass leading him right into the shot. Didn't even have to break stride. Baseline jumper. A nice shot by Anderson. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers. And theirs are fantastic. Just beautiful when they play the game like this. Near the three-point line, it's Dragic. Here's Bosch. It's blocked. From 20 feet out, shots good by Mills. Mills has got 25 points in the game. The Heat leading by 15. Outside Dragic, jacks up a three. That's good. This guy knows how to get it done. He knows what he's doing out there. A nice job from the three-point line this half. The three from Mills. Can't get it to go. Excellent D from Wade. Miami's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Dang with it, and it's Miller picking him up. And it's Whiteside, that time on the assist by Dang. Dang's got four assists now tonight. That's two straight quick three-pointers they've allowed. Defense just not reacting with enough aggressiveness. And he's clearly been the best rebounder on the floor today. And the numbers back it up, Greg. I mean, he's brought his hard hat and mean mentality to the glass with him today. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Right side, can't get it to go. And it's the Spurs taking it the other way. Here's Mills. Pass to Diaw. Banked in off the glass. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. Miller against Dragic. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Wow. Wow. He got whacked on that, which shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. And the Spurs with some changes. And he sinks the second. As a team, they're hovering around 86 to 87 percent from the line. That's exactly what you want to see. I mean, converting at that rate, that'll win you a lot of games. That's good. You know, guys, that's what he does. He just loves to play that kind of attacking basketball. Miami leading by 18. The pass to Bosch. Rogic kicks to Bosch. The three. The rebound by the Spurs. Duncan's got 11 rebounds in the game. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Duncan. I tell you what, that's just a major unforced error right there, guys. My goodness. Miami's gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. There's Trogic with the three. And the rebound goes to Duncan. Duncan's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. For a long time in San Antonio, it's been about the big three, and rightfully so with all their wins, and Kawhi Leonard seems to be their future. And Kawhi and the big three recognize that and are trying to ease the transition period. And if you know the Spurs, they'll make a smooth transition, won't they, Kevin? Absolutely. And, guys, for Kawhi Leonard and the Spurs, Coach Popovich already sees him as the next guy. He, he told Leonard not to think of the big three, but to think of himself as the big one. Wow, a fantastic performance from the arc here in the second half. It's stolen by Wade. And here we go. Fast break. Wade's got it. No good from Trogic. Oh, that's a golden opportunity to finish on the break, and he blows it. Yeah, at this level, you got to make that shot. It's plain and simple. you got to knock that one down. And guys, with what Popovich said about Leonard, small things like that can be the catalyst to get a player to reach greatness. Sooner or later, this will be Kawhi's team. Feeds to Duncan. Fades back. And it's Miami with the rebound. Man, that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level, in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. We've seen D-Way getting it done. 31 points and eight dimes. He may have saved his best for last here in the fourth. And, and that's the kind of timing you really want, guys. 
Well, they're making the defense pay for some of those unnecessary fouls here in the second half. If a team is going to foul you and they won't play defense without fouling you, then make them pay. Cash in from the line. Pulls it up. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Spurs trail by 19. Leonard attacking. Another one falls for San Antonio. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Heat. Well, the one thing that jumps out in this game, Clark, and you know, Steve's kind of touched on it, is the free throw shooting, which they did a much better job at. Yeah, absolutely a big plus. And oftentimes, Kevin, we've seen it time and time again. Your performance at the line can be the difference maker in a game. A good win, and a lot went into it, but I just like the showing for Dwayne Wade. A big part of their success was his ability to keep the ball moving, finding guys when they would flash open. Johnson, that's for two. Tim Duncan with the rebound. Almost no chance of that shot going in. Yeah, there were a lot of other places he could have gone with the basketball instead of forcing that shot up. It's stolen by Martin. Here's Ginobili, and it's good on the assist by Parker. Yes, and they definitely have the edge in those fast break points. Greg, they sure have. I mean, maybe it hasn't helped put them in front, but they're clearly better off playing up-tempo basketball. Ginobili outside. Seven-second difference, shot and game clock. Again, the miss by Ginobili. Clark, and they can just let the clock run out here. No argument with that W. And the call will be against Tony Parker. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. That's good from Winslow. Both shots good from the strike. San Antonio calls timeout. They're behind by 15. We've got time. Don't have to isolate immediately. What do you think, guys? Yeah, they, they can game plan all they want. But unless they can put more time on the clock, I think this bad boy's over. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what they hope to get accomplished um, with this time out here. Here's Martin, tries a three off the inbound. The rebound by Johnson. And that's gonna be a turnover. They call him for eight seconds. First ball. Oh, he got hacked on the three-pointer. He'll head to the line. And he's good on the first of three. Good on the second free throw. And he nails the third. Here's Johnson. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. 
some good moments throughout this one but they have the clear advantage down the stretch yeah, and I thought good execution really played a big part throughout and now we'll send it down to Doris Burke who's standing by courtside.